Well, welcome back to The Remedy, brought to you by Coos Health and Wellness. I'm Eric Gleason. Today, we are joined by Ashley Matsui, the Kids Hope Center Program Director. Thank you for joining us. You're welcome. So we're going to talk a little bit about what it is you guys are doing over there. What exactly is the Kids Hope Center? Great question. So the Kids Hope Center is our local child abuse center. So what we do is we service children that um, have encountered abuse or neglect or may be at mm -hmm. risk, and we provide a medical-based model approach into servicing those children and their families. So we're affiliated with both law enforcement and child welfare, but we are our own separate entity. So our main goal is really to hear the child's story through their voice in a neutral setting um, to best understand how we can provide services and treatment for that child and family. Wow. So you said that you use a medical model. What exactly is a medical model? Yeah, the medical model is really a holistic way of treating child abuse. It's mm -hmm. when children come to our center, they can receive a forensic interview, a medical um, assessment, as well as uh, family and child-based advocacy and referrals um, to other community-based organizations. The goal of the center is that a child can be interviewed one time or less and receive se services one time in a wraparound sense so they don't have to re-experience the trauma of the abuse by retelling their story to multiple providers. Sure. Wow. Well, and that's that's important, the re-traumatization aspect of that and doing Absolutely. it all in a team-based approach in one location. That's pretty smart. Absolutely. So what is a forensic interview? A forensic interview is a recorded interview that a child receives at our center by a trained professional and it's really open-ended questions, it's a neutral setting, and again, it gives a child the opportunity to tell their story through their voice. That interview then can be passed along to law enforcement or um, Department of Human Services or any other community-based partners that may be investigating this um, occurrence that has happened, and that way the child doesn't have to keep telling their story over again. But I think the best part about the interview is that it's really child-driven, it's not a prosecution model, Although at the end of the day, if prosecution is able to make an arrest based on the information, that's, a, that's great. Sure. But it's really an opportunity for the child to lead the interview at his or her own pace and to disclose at their pace as well. well that's good. And they can feel like they have some control over their situation. Absolutely. Sure. So what type of prevention efforts does the Kids Hope Center offer? So prevention efforts right now um, are really big. We have a great program right now called the Darkness to Light Stewards of Children. It's an education prevention model that we're offering community-wide to anyone. Mm -hmm. So it can be businesses, groups, faith-based organizations, schools, and just individuals. We'll come to you or you can come to us over at the center. And really it's focused on childhood sexual abuse and how we can better inform and educate adults in our community, how to look for signs and how to handle responses to this. Oh, I mean, it's it's a topic that not a lot of people want to discuss. I mean, really, when it comes right down Absolutely. to it. Absolutely. And so the fact that there are resources out there f that are geared towards making this as least intrusive as possible for the youth is, I mean, that's important, but also to educate the community about a, Absolutely. a topic that has got so much stigma related to it in general. Absolutely. It, it's it's awesome. Is there anything else that you... Well, what we know right now is that we know statistically that one in 10 children will be sexually abused before their 18th birthday. 90% mm -hmm. of abusers in those cases are someone that the child knows. So really to take a stand to this is we need to have a better community response to dealing with child sexual abuse or any types of abuse in our community. Wow. So our prevention and education efforts are to really better inform the community and adults that work with children or don't how to handle this and react responsibly when children make disclosures or or maybe are acting or behaving differently than they have before. Awesome. So if you have any questions or you'd like to get in contact with Ashley, you can call her at 541-266-8806. Yes. All right. For The Remedy and Coos Health and Wellness, thank you for joining us and have yourself a good day.